All right, welcome to Zach's Food Channel. Today I'm going to be making uh, Detroit style pizza. And the Detroit style pizza uses a special pan. It's a 10 by 14 inch pan. It's aluminum. Can handle a lot of heat. We're going to crank the oven up to a really high temperature to bake this thing. And to start out, we're going to start out with the dough. So I'm going to mix in two cups of flour, uh, yeast, some diastatic malt powder. This is optional, you don't have to use that. <clears throat> and some kosher salt. And we're gonna make And to that, we're going to add a cup of water. Then we're going to mix that until it comes together and starts pulling away from the sides of the bowl. Okay, and we're gonna let that knead for about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Turn off the mixer. Uh, look, we got a nice sticky dough. Looky there. Okay, I'm going to transfer that over to a bowl. Oh, a, we're going to boil it down with some olive oil. just so it doesn't stick. Get my hands, because this is really sticky dough. And we're gonna cover that with a damp towel until it doubles in size. It could take up to about two hours. We're gonna put this in a warm spot. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make our sauce out of uh, these San Marzano peeled tomatoes. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna blend it all into a blender. Add a little bit of sugar to this. That should be enough. Just to and some red pepper flake. Not a lot, just to give it a little kick. And we might add a little bit of water to this to thin it out a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, we're gonna... 
taste it, see what it tastes like. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Going to pour this into a container and let it put it in the fridge until the dough until we're ready to make the pizza. All right, the dough is about doubled in size. Now we're going to transfer it over the, the pie the pan. We're going to use a lot of olive oil. Because it's very sticky dough. Get some on my hand. All right, we're gonna. Push this into the sides of the pan here. Need more oil on my hands. If it doesn't go all the way, it's okay. We're gonna let it rest and then we're gonna push it into the edges. Okay, we're gonna use two types of cheese. We're gonna use mozzarella and Monterey Jack. <clears throat> we're only gonna use half of this and Monterey Jack. And we're not going to use a cheese grater because you want small cubes because you want the crust to get done before the cheese melts. And if we shred it, it that won't happen and the cheese will end up burning. Okay, I'm gonna also make a some garlic and some olive oil together. We're gonna put this on the crust before we put the cheese and the sauce on. Just a couple of cloves of garlic here. And a little bit of olive oil. Give that a little mix around there. All right, it's time to build this thing. First off, we're gonna put a little uh, garlic oil on top of the crust. Just gonna paint this on here. It's going to give it a nice garlicky taste to it. All right, and then next. Goes to the cheese. Let's get this in there a little bit here. We've got 12 ounces of cheese, 4 ounces of Monterey Jack, and 8 ounces of mozzarella. 
Next is the hot Italian sausage. I'm just gonna break off little pieces of it and put it all over this thing. Next, we're gonna put three lines of sauce on this thing. All right, next we're going to sprinkle some oregano all over the top of this thing. All right, and after the oven gets preheated, we're going to put it in. The oven has to be at 550 degrees. Once it gets to 550 degrees, we're going to put it in the oven. thing out of here. All right, that looks magnificent. Wow. Give me a plate. All right, let's try this. Mmm, <clears throat> that's really good. I didn't get any sausage in that bite though. The sauce is really good. The cheese is excellent. <laughs> you want to get in here and get a bite on camera? There, I got to bite the sausage. Mm. All right, thanks for watching Zach's Food Channel. If you like this video, click subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching.